Simone, because I turned the lights on, that doesn't mean action for you. I'm working. This is not your time. Mommy's working. So, unless you want to do this face. You have food and water. You're okay. Hey guys, what's up? Asia here. Today's video is all about the simple... You can't be doing that while I'm videoing. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people. Look here. Here's some rose water. Go on about your day. What's up guys? Asia here. Today's video is all about the simple makeup look. Have you ever seen me on Instagram or if you're just out of the store or wherever and they just look like their skin is just so flawless, clear and without any marks or anything? I know I have and I'm like, how the heck did they get that? As you can see, I have small blemishes. My skin is acting up, just FYI. Um, and I'm like, how do they do that? I've learned that you can do some makeup and still look very natural. So what I say is natural is not the full glam. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is just how I make up my face minus all of the extra glam. So I won't be doing any kind of eyeshadows. I won't be doing any kind of baking. I probably won't even do any eyeliner. This is just my simple go-to every day when I'm not videoing for you guys, of course. And just my every day if I'm running around, if I um, am doing errands, whatever I'm doing, if I wanna have on some sort of makeup. Now, sometimes I do let my skin breathe, just FYI, so I don't always do this look, but I do like this look for when I'm just out and about and I don't have anything really big going on. So I don't have any events, I don't have you know any videos to do, I don't have any anything major going on. So I, I do this look a lot when I'm just working day to day, running my errands, product shopping, um, doing meetings, you know, I have a lot of Skype meetings that I do and FaceTime meetings, Zoom meetings that I do for my business. So this is the look that I do just so I'm not going out scary like how I look right now. Side note, don't mind the towel on my head. I am deep conditioning. Y'all probably can't see that, but I'm in the process of lightening my hair. So I am deep conditioning and that's why I have this towel on my head. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I have totally prepped my face. So I have washed my face, I exfoliated, I did an astringent, and I put on a moisturizer. My last step of what I do is I take my little amethyst roller, which I absolutely love. I also have an ice roller, which I love too, which is a little bigger. I'll maybe pop a picture up here, but if you know what it is, you know, I will link it below and I will link this below because it is amazing. So amethyst is actually my birthstone. So that's what first attracted me to this but it's also very good for depuffing your face so when you get up in the morning you notice your face is puffy or just during the day if you have sinuses any kind of allergies anything like that you want to keep one of these handy to depuff so all you would do is just simply roll on the areas and I like to focus a lot on my forehead just because um, I'm always like doing some kind of lines or whatever like I do like this a lot and it creates those lines. So I like to try to keep them somewhat intact. Um, and I just kind of roll my neck, I roll around. Now I do take this smaller side, and you can use this too on your whole body or just your face. I just use it on my face. But I take this here and really focus in on the eyes because it's just, I mean, the eyes are like where the puffiness goes. Also, taking care of your eyes is so, so, so important to be gentle with your eyes when you're putting on, you know, creams or, or if you're even rolling, just be very, very gentle with it. So I go through and roll, just make sure I'm all good. First thing, I like to, after I depuff, I like to go on Box Primer and it does have SPF in it, so I love that because um, it's protecting your skin, you know. We get so much sun damage. I know I am a very, very big tanner. Like, I love the summertime to go lay out by the pool, and for, and for the longest time, I was not 
protecting my skin and I just look at people who don't protect their skin and you know it's it creates wrinkles and we're all about the youthful skin right so that is why I opted for something with some SPF in it so that is always my first step I always go through after I do my prep and I put on some kind of primer just so that the makeup they were putting on even if it is just light it sticks so what I do next is I am Rihanna's pro filter I use this in a 350 now I do have her concealer stick and I will use that like if I'm just going to the gym and I just need to cover up a few little dark marks or whatever under my eyes but for an all-day simple makeup I go for this just because it is long wear it's it has a matte finish and it just covers my skin really well I've tried I've tried other foundations and they just seem to not cover as well they leave creases or they just don't sit on my skin well and this worked every single time no matter what so that's why I'm like when I find something really good I stick to it I also use from time to time this Mac um, sculpting uh, studio sculpt actually and this has SPF in it um, it's SPF 15. I use this one in an NC 45. Now this was my first like kind of liquid foundation that I started using. This does work amazing as well. I actually need to get some more as you can see it's like almost out. But I love this too and Rihanna. So today we're just going to play around with Rihanna. So you just want to do like your basic thing. I just put it on my beauty blender here and I just go through and you guys side note I'm looking at a mirror too just so you know so I go through and just kind of dab it I'm not a pro with the beauty blender yet but I'm working on it so you guys bear with me it may not be perfect but what if so I just go through and since this is very light you know I just kind of dab it I'm not looking for like perfection here like I'm looking of course for a full coverage so that I'm not looking crazy like having certain patches or whatever covered and certain patches not All right, so now that we have covered our faces, we can go on to the next step. But first, before I do, this is the concealer from Fenty that I was talking about. I actually am going to use today the Huda Beauty, um, and this one is in peanut butter. The one from Fenty is 350, just like my foundation. The only thing that I am opting this over this for is because this one just doesn't seem to do the full coverage like I want. So Huda, like when I just put just a little bit on, like I have a little dark marks here, you know, if I'm over here and have a little dark marks or whatever, this works and it does the full coverage every time. Like I can't see the dark mark at all. So with Fenty, this is more so like a standalone, like you would do this just by yourself. Like I said, no foundation on, but just covering the little marks wherever you have them because um, it's good for that but it does not fully cover if that makes sense so you still may see a little dark on your skin with Huda I've learned that you don't see it at all really you just see I mean you just it's just covered so I always I'm leaning more towards this this is what I'm leaning more towards these days so what I do is, is I'm going to take the Huda and I'm going to just dab on my chin where that little dark mark was and this little dark mark that never goes away. And I just go, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I have it on my chin and I'm just gonna dab. And you don't have to do a lot with the Huda. You just dab it like with a little beauty blender. And I just, and it, the thing about it, it, it blends in with the Rihanna foundation like almost perfectly. Like I use the 350 and Rihanna and this is the peanut butter and it's like they just, they're perfect. 
So I just roll that over my face. And what I usually do next is I go ahead and opt for my eyebrows. So eyebrows are very, very important and a very, to me it's a staple. It's a staple in your makeup. Like when you have, you know, and it doesn't have to be like the full Instagram brow. It just can be just like a simple little basic brow. Um, but they do make or break your look. If you don't have any on, like right now mine are like, they're very light, but you can still see them because I've put on my makeup before. And that's something that I do. I notice a lot of beauty girls um, and, and makeup people do their eyebrows first and then go around the eyebrow. I just, I just feel like it doesn't hold as well for me. So I always put my face on first, put my foundation on first, and then do my brows. So I'm going to be working with the Anastasia. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. So let me show you guys. It's really kind of dark. Um, my eyebrows are black, so I can't really do something light because it won't, it doesn't work right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like something light. Now with the, the, the pomade, less is more. So you just need to take it just like and dip it one little time. Don't fully go in there and you'll have enough for your whole brow. So let's see here. And I just go and outline my brow. Now my brows aren't done right now. So they're not like fully They haven't been waxed, let me just say that. So, I just go in with the pomade, and I just really go, just, I just go in like how you would normally do your brows and just kind of fill in. Again, I don't want them too heavy because this is like a, a simple little makeup look. This isn't the full glam, so we want Sorry, you guys can't even see me, but you'll see when I'm done. Um, we want the brow to be accentuated, but we don't want it to overpower the face. So with brows, I've noticed that if you do them too dark or too heavy and you're doing like a simple makeup look, they look crazy. They look like Joan Crawford eyebrows. And although her eyebrows was the staple, was the thing, we don't want them to always look like that. So, let's see. So I just go through both of my brows and I'm just really more so filling in my brow as opposed to like drawing them and designing them or whatever. Um, and I'm just lightly filling, lightly going over and filling in where I may have a couple of little balding spots or spots that are thinning, not balding, Jesus, no. Um, also, side note, if anybody knows the best products to use to grow eyebrows back full, 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 I would, I would greatly appreciate it because I have a horror story. So I was in college and my eyebrows before in high school were like flawless. Like the lady that did my eyebrows in high school was amazing. So I was in college and I was about to go out somewhere for the day and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to run and get my eyebrows done guy I was dating at the time was like yeah just okay go ahead do your thing or whatever and so I go over to beauty brands and the girl obviously was new or didn't know and I was in a rush so normally I'm very very picky like I I pick my person because and I look at like what what level they are especially at beauty brands because I'm just like uh, uh I can't fool around with my brows like that but I just was in a rush and I wasn't thinking and so I went to this girl she did my eyebrows and when I tell y'all she took half the brow off she took half the brow off like it was insane I was I wanted to cry because my eyebrows were so full and I really and they were full and they were thick and they were dark so I didn't even have to like you know everybody now is tinting and all that I didn't have to do any of that I wouldn't even have to do this because my eyebrows were so thick and pretty. And when she did that, like I said, I wanted to cry and I went home and my boyfriend at the time was like, oh, and I was like, don't even start because I mean, I was just devastated. I mean, these are your brows. These are like, 
these are your babies like so if anybody knows how to really get them back 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 like I try to not get them waxed as often I try to go and be like okay I'm on a hiatus I'm gonna just let them grow full back whatever Wakanda forever all of that but I just can't do it because I'm just like I need my face to be like when my eyebrows aren't done y'all like it's like I don't know I just don't feel right so I'll I like have to go get them waxed so if you guys know something that works I've been using uh, Jamaican black castor oil because that works for my hair but if y'all have anything else that works leave me a comment below next thing now that we have the brows done so if you can see they're pretty simple um, they're just they're just shaded in um, and I know I look crazy right now because I don't have none on my eyes but what I also like to do is is take just a little bit of this pro concealer like this is the cheapest but such a good concealer for under your eyes to make your eyes lighter um, I'm actually getting somebody tried the Huda uh, I think it was marshmallow one under my eyes and it worked perfect so I'm going to go get that today but um, this here I just I mean it's cheap it's easy I love it because I've always this was like my first one besides derma blend the only thing about this is is since it's cheap it it you know it's touch and go sometimes so I take this and just go under my eyes just a little bit just to lighten and this is the only lightening that I'm going to do under my eyes um, this is like a basic makeup look so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to dab underneath. I just took this little concealer brush here and I'm just gonna dab underneath. And the reason why I put this in my makeup, my basic makeup look is because I like for my eyes to be, to look awake. And sometimes that just doesn't work. You know, when you're out here hustling and you up half the night working on YouTube videos or whatever your your job is if you're an entrepreneur you really understand and then you got to be up the next day for a flight or you got to have meetings or something having your eyes done and looking bright and awake is very important so I took it with the brush but I do go back over it with the um, beauty blender and I also take just like a little bit of rose water and I spray my beauty blender spray it and this is I love rose water it's such a good thing for your face keeps your face moisturized it's like a toner it's a cleanser I use this um, before I put my makeup on and I also use it at nighttime when I go to bed so I just take that put it on my beauty blender and I just go and dab and dab and dab and just put it you know into my eye if you can see as you can see with the LA girl pro concealer it goes on a little heavy so this is how it is before you beauty blend it this is how it is after so it is a little heavy but that's something that I also appreciate about it especially with my eyes that it makes my eyes look light and it does do its job that it it really does lighten it so just go ahead and make sure it's blended in. And voila, light eyes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my damn girl by Too Faced. I have kind of done a review on this a little bit like people have asked me on Instagram and via email how I like it I like it because it does it is a little thick but I really do miss my stiletto um, lash by Maybelline because the stick is longer so whereas here I have to really be careful not to like bump my nose I love it but I do bump my my nose a lot with the mascara wand so the wand on the Maybelline is a lot bigger see I just did it see I just did it right here so I always that never fails like I always do that um,
So I just go through and I put just a light coat of mascara and with the damn girl light is better <laughs> let me just tell y'all so I go through do that and I also do my bottom lash I also do my bottoms here and like I said less is more so you know just since we're doing like a simple makeup technique I just like to just go over them just a bit okay so I now have done my top and my bottom lash and I didn't like take the time to do like the long long spider lash just because this is just my simple makeup again we're not really going glam and full glam so look should take you a lot less time because we're cutting out the baking we're cutting out the contouring we're cutting out the the eye um, the eyeshadow we're cutting out a lot of the other things that take a little bit longer just for just a basic just a basic look what I usually do is I will leave my face just like this usually just let the mascara just kind of do its thing but today I'm feeling a little extra and that's okay you know you you feel full glam and you feel full when you're in the middle of full glam and not full glam and just simple you kind of got to spice it up a little bit the lash so this here is actually my Asian style lash and if you guys have been following me for a while my baby whiplash is now a year old a year ago I came up with the concept of four different lashes and I just took that journey and just started from there if you guys go back on my YouTube channel you'll see when I first did kind of like my introductory video about who I am and about my lashes and I just thank you guys for rocking with me since then so this here is the Asian style Asian style is very simple it's very mild it's very toned down and I love it because this is like my go-to um, when I'm doing just like this simple look if I do opt for eyelashes again sometimes I just stick with the mascara and that's it so with this I'm going to kind of add just a little bit so I'm going to take the lash and you guys you guys know how to do the lashes I've seen the video of how I do my lashes so I'm old school we're putting their eyelashes on with tweezers I'm using my hand so I'm just going to slap that on boom 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 okay And just slap it on so what this is going to do is, is since these lashes are shorter and they aren't like full full bold big whatever they give you that illusion of having full lashes even if you don't so people oftentimes don't even know that this is a strip because once you get it on and then I like to go through and put more mascara on to blend the mascara and my real eyelash with the false one that I just put on so this here is a side without the lash this here is a side with so this adds just a small small flare but by no means if you don't want to put eyelashes on this side is complete I have my lashes on again you don't have to put your lashes on at all if you don't want to you can just go on about your business with mascara especially if you have beautiful eyelashes already without the falsies I think that's great so I just am going over these just a little bit just to kind of blend in what I mine with the falsies so I just go through and that is it for the eyes I don't spend a lot of time on them just because pointless um, I then am going to take my fix from Mac and I love this one because it has gold in it so just take it go over my face set all of that beautiful work that we've just done and it's all complete I would look ten times better if my head wasn't up in this thing y'all but since it is we just we just know what it is 
thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for taking the time to spend this time with me. And I just really want to say I appreciate you all, the oldies, the newbies, everybody. I thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to me if you have not already. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know you're here. And you can also send me an email at asiaraycosmetics at gmail.com. And don't forget to find me on all of my social media. That is Twitter. That is Instagram. That is Facebook at Asia Ray Cosmetics. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.